The whole key to Ray Scott in, in my affiliation with bass was that I'd been told all my life that I was wasting my time fishing. My father was a civil engineer, had a doctorate degree. My mother was a school teacher. They were professional people. They wanted me to go to college and become a professional. So like a doctor, a lawyer, an Indian chief, anything professional, it could be just anything in the world, but not a fisherman because fishermen couldn't make the grade. It's, it's, a, it's a waste of time and you're just wasting your life away fooling with fishing. And so I was t totally convinced that my passion for fishing was just kind of slowing me down and that I wouldn't amount to a hill of beans. Of course, at that point, when I met Ray, I'd, I'd been in the military. I'd, had, I'd, I'd been a commissioned officer in the military, and I'd, I'd, I'd had college behind my belt. You know, I'd had, I graduated for uh, biological sciences. So I had some background, and I even had taught school down in Brazil for a year. So I wasn't I just looking for things to do. And I, but the last thing I thought I could do, really the last thing on my mind, was become a professional fisherman because I'd been told all my life that that's a dead-end street. There's no way to come around that. Well, Ray, because of, you, you can imagine all, 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 all he could do, he finally convinced me that there's a great, brilliant future in the outdoors. A great, brilliant future as a fisherman, as, as a communicator, as, as a television person, as, as a whatever I wanted to be, but connected to fishing. And so he instilled confidence and he instilled and he opened the door and he, he I saw the light you know it was just it was so, I, I thank Ray so so much for for convincing me to follow you know my dream because I I had a dream of course but I didn't think it would work 